Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike and I'm back with another tutorial, not After Effects or Audacity this time. This time we're actually gonna be doing a Premiere Pro tutorial. It's really simple, really easy, um, but it's a trick that I had to learn and so it might be something that you need to learn also. So basically it's just a lens flare transition. So you see here how it's just a slight flare to between each video. So it makes the cuts a little bit less obvious. So let's jump into After, or not After Effects, Premiere Pro here. And I just have poorly color corrected uh, footage of, of a snowboarding trip that I just kind of pieced together. I, I applied some um, smoother warp stabilizers to just smooth out the video. It's not necessary, but you could see that this, I'm gonna actually mute that, that this is how the video would look. It just kind of hard cuts. And you do, you do notice that the sun actually is in the top right corner. That's not necessary, but it just kind of hides the effect a little bit more. So uh, let me just turn my music down. So what I have over here, whoa, are two video files that are basically lens flares. So you can get them online. You could just look up um, free lens flare transitions, free lens flare overlays. I'll put two links down in the description where you can actually find some. Some are free, some are not. Um, I think these ones were paid and this one was free. So um, I actually have a folder on my computer I'll just show you real quick of all of the the lens flares. So I mean, you could use something like like that. So I'll just drag that into just to show you as an example. So what you want to do here? So I'm actually using GoPro, which is 4K video. I just want to scale this up to 200, just so it fits over my video. You see, when I put it on top, it it doesn't act as an overlay. So what you want to go here is to opacity, blend mode, and go down to linear dodge. And what that does is basically just overlay it onto the onto the video underneath. Um, so basically it just removes the black background. So you'll see here that this is what it would look like if I if I just overlaid this file. Okay, that was not a good example. <laughs> um, overlaid it over it like that. So I mean you can you can get cool effects just by you know applying video on top of video. Um, but in this tutorial, we want to show you how to do a transition. So I have these two files over here. I already changed the blend mode to linear dodge. And then I just want to kind of match them up on the transition points. So I'm just going to move them over into in between the two clips. And I'm just going to kind of watch this, this transition. And you see that it got really bright, like right there. So I actually just going to cut it there and line it up to the, the video. So then what I get, is something that kind of looks like that, where the flare gets really bright and kind of washes out the whole screen, and then by the time it kind of becomes unbright, um, the next scene is there. You could also add like maybe a slight, um, I don't know, a cross dissolve here, but you just gotta make sure you bring it in real tight. Now, since I have stabilizer on, it wants to reanalyze those frames, so I don't really need to, need to use that, but if, if your transition's a little rough, you could add one there. And then again, for the second one, I'm just gonna kind of go, th so you can see it got really bright, like right there. So that's where I wanna put the transition. So you wind up with something that kind of looks like that. So it's kind of like the change in brightness and color is what kind of hides the fade. This one's a little bit sharper, but also the effect is a little more artistic, whereas this one, it almost kind of like blends into the into the video, like almost like there was like a solar flare or something. But anyways, that's a quick way to add video overlays and flare transitions in between your videos. Now, in addition to this, you could use it almost like a double exposure. So if you take one video and put it on top of another, this is just my adjustment layer to get that the poor color correction. <laughs> Um, if I select this top this top layer here and change it to linear dodge, then you kind of get like a a double exposure effect. And then if you change some of the the settings here, uh, I don't know what I just did. Um, if you change some of the settings here, like opacity or brightness, then you could kind of add different effects there too. This isn't a great example, but 
um, this is how this is a way you can get a double exposure effect but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like be sure to subscribe and check out other tutorials on this channel anyways guys this has been mike thanks for watching